I want everything to be airy. I want to just flow through the room and not have to step over things or around things. <laughs> Welcome back to my Whole House Declutter series. Today we are tackling the random piles of clutter all over my house. The stairs, in my bedroom, and in the area that we call the lounge. But first we're starting with the stairs. This is an area of the house that is always just a catch-all. Things get piled here, either they're supposed to go upstairs or somewhere else in the house and everyone, including myself, just dumps it on the stairs. It's a hazard. It's definitely an area that's supposed to stay clean just for emergency purposes and it drives me bonkers when there's stuff on the stairs. Thankfully it wasn't too bad when I started this project on this particular day. I will admit it's cluttered again right now currently at my house while I'm doing this voiceover. This is just an area of the house that I have realized is always going to get cluttered. People are always going to just put stuff on the stairs but as long as I stay on top of it and clean it often it's manageable. It's a manageable space. That's why I started here today in this decluttering project on this particular day because it's kind of a quick and easy thing that makes a big difference in the space. And I also gave the bottom half of the stairs a quick little vacuum too because that just kind of makes everything feel better. Like I said, I love a good vacuuming sesh. Just feels good on your feet and it's just a nice little finishing touch after you've decluttered because why spend all the time decluttering just to leave little scraps of bits on the floor? It's the final little finishing crown jewel of the space. I love not having to step over anything when we go up the stairs now, it's fantastic. And it was good to start somewhere easy because things are about to get real hard real fast, as you're about to see. Now here are the before and afters. Like I said, this took maybe like five or ten minutes tops. So this was a nice way to ease me into my little decluttering challenge today. Maxwell, are you watching me back in the stairs? Even this is like an ah uh, kind of moment for me. I can just breathe a little easier having the stairs be clear. Welcome to our first pile. Today I need to tackle this. I'm not necessarily looking at the boxes, but I think I will clear those out too. Most of that stuff just needs to go downstairs, except for the little things kind of piled on top. I gotta go through all that. But this pile has been here for, I don't know, a year or more, maybe half a year half a year to a year. I'll probably figure it out as I'm going through it. Stuff at the bottom, <laughs> I'll be able to tell how old that stuff is. So this is what I do. Let me zoom out a little bit. I tend to take clutter. This is part of it too. It's mostly trash, I think. I tend to take clutter from around. I mean, obviously, it's been a while because it's still cluttered, but from around other areas of the room or the house, and then I pile it. I think most of this was supposed to go downstairs and then it never did. And then it just gets piled more and more and more on top. And then it sits for an eternity. And then other people add to it because they see a pile of clutter and they think, oh good, I can put this bowl, the snack bowl on here. That was from the kids. And Blake's belt is right there. So people just add to it. I started it. I know that this is kind of my fault, but then other people add to it and nobody else takes responsibility for anything. So um, it's up to me <laughs> to clean it, get rid of it, sort through it. I very much want to get rid of as much as possible. But I just at first glance, I see a lot of my business reselling stuff like these bags and things. So and then all those boxes are my reselling stuff, too. So let's tackle this. I'm going to feel really, really good when this is all airy. That's my word, you know, for all of these decluttering spaces. Airy. I want everything to be airy. I want to just flow through the room and not have to step over things or around things. So that's the goal. I might get to the dresser, but I'm gonna say probably not today. 
Maybe though, maybe. A lot of that is reselling stuff too. So we shall see. But for now, let's start here. Actually, let's start with those boxes. Let's get those out of the way so that we can kind of get in and out of the door and then we can really sort this stuff. Okay, so actually this box does need to be sorted. This is not a reselling box, this is paperwork, which is one of the banes of my existence. So we're gonna add that. This one goes downstairs. <laughs> took less than 10 minutes to do that. Now the box is downstairs. Actually, you can kind of see them. They're right there. Um, they're not in a good spot. I, I purposefully put them down in a place that would bug me so that I will get to them soon. I am going to have to be working on my office soon because I'm having a sale next week and I do my live sales from the office. So it needs to be somewhat worked on this week so that I even have a place to film. I can get to all the stuff I'm selling, etc. cetera. Um, Maxwell. <laughs> but this pile has been bugging me for, I don't know, over a week because it, it was all out here on the landing. And then when I, I moved it over here to, to try to clear out those boxes, actually, it may have been more than a week. It, I think I did that before even Christmas. So it's been a while. And it took me all of 10 minutes to get it out of here. Now, once I have to sort through those boxes and actually deal with it, that's going to be a big, huge project. But for now, it doesn't belong in the bedroom. So let's at least put the mess in the room that it belongs in. And now we can tackle all of this. I'm going to start with some of the obvious stuff first. And yes, I do have a piece of chocolate in my mouth. Because I'm like a dog and I need treats to motivate me to do the right thing. This is just Blake's laundry. We can get that out of the way. This goes to his CPAP. It's a travel case. It goes in the closet. His belt also goes in the closet. There, it goes right on your pile of stuff, Blake. That's for you. This is also Blake's. I'm gonna put it in his hamper of clean clothes. I think this is all trash. It's a dirty sock. Belongs to the children. Okay, I keep plastic store bags, reusable bags for the flea market. 
when people buy something, put it in a bag and give it to them. So I have a little wad of these bags downstairs. I'm going to need to make a downstairs pile. Clearly a lot of this stuff is gonna have to go downstairs. I would like to have like an empty bin to use. I might be able to use that one right there because most of that stuff probably goes downstairs anyway. I'm gonna set this aside for a moment and finish going through this trash. And then I'm gonna start with that bin right there because I can use it as a tote to go downstairs. Now I'm pretty sure Blake said all of this is trash. This is old used CPAP stuff. And he needs to get better at throwing his own trash away. But like I said, I know that when I start making piles, nobody else respects the space either. And everyone just makes piles. So it starts with me. Hopefully if the house is like very neat and there's no stuff on the ground right here, Blake won't just throw stuff on the ground. Or if he does, it'll be more obvious that there's a mess that he needs to clean up. That's my hope anyway. Might be a, a pipe dream. Actually, I can use this box to take some stuff downstairs because this box I will use for my reselling. It's a nice thick box. It's a good box. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. When you have an online e-commerce type business and you are shipping things very often and boxes kind of cost a lot of money, you appreciate a good box and I tend to hoard them, but I also use them. I go through them a lot. So I keep cardboard boxes for my business. So I'll make this one business. Boom. Office. Therein lies the office box. What the heck is this? All right. I just got to get down and dirty down in here. This is office. I'm already too big for that box. Kids stuff, I see. I'm going to have to have a pile for kid artwork and paperwork, etc. Because all right, this one, hopefully Brody doesn't watch this. Some of it's gonna get thrown away right now. I don't wanna have to sort through this stuff twice. Cards. Valentine's Day card. So we are at just about the year mark for this pile. Um, this one's Brody's fifth birthday, which is February. So yeah, we're at about 11 months old, this stuff. This is a cleaning apparatus and it's sitting at the top of the stairs. So I'm actually gonna put these two things together because I don't wanna get up and down a million times, I've made a pile at the top of the stairs for stuff that needs to go downstairs. I'm still working on my office bin right here. Like here's some tape, that's office. This is kitchen, that would just go in the general downstairs. It should just, there should be just, there's gonna be a pile. We're gonna make a pile, pile's right there. Wrapping paper, Christmas, downstairs. This is all Christmas goes downstairs. Okay. Bubble wrap. This is all, what is, what is this? Trash, 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 trash. Ah, cute pictures of my baby. My darling. This is Father's Day. I'm putting all the like keepsake memento kid things up there. Reselling stuff, boxes. This these are for cords and wires. This should go in the office too, honestly. That's where we got it from. This is toy. This and this go in the luggage, which is also downstairs. This I was gonna resell. This is what I keep my makeup in when I travel. So honestly, I could just, I never use it until I'm traveling. So I'm gonna keep it with the luggage. That makes sense. There's a toy. Hi, pretty. You give me kisses. You know, I'm working hard. I know. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. Another bag. Honestly, I already feel like this is not that, this is not that bad. It's not going to be that big of a deal. This is supposed to go in the cedar chest. 
this I think belongs to my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law and they should wear it to the boys baseball games this year because they are the Yankees. Much to my dismay as an Angels fan, it's going to be a tough pill to swallow to see my kids in Yankees gear, but it is what it is. Old planner. This is essentially going to be trash, certainly. Just make sure I didn't tuck anything into it. Why would I keep an old planner? I don't know. I am going to keep the stickers though. These can go to the office. Shoelaces. These are so long, I'm assuming these have... Are these for our skates? Like ice skates? Like Blake's hockey skates, maybe? Or some sort of boot? I don't know. We're gonna just roll them up. I'm gonna have to have a Blake pile, clearly. Like I see a, a screwdriver and a pump of some sort. Any kind of electronic things, that's gonna be in a Blake pile because that falls into the realm of his hoarding. I think every man of a certain age has a box filled with cords that may or may not go to anything that it, we still have or it exists in the house. But by God, if you ever need a cord out of that box, that man feels like a superhero. Blake piles will be back there for now. What is this? This is cording I used to fix my fiberglass lamp. Interesting. Didn't know I still had this and I don't know why it's in this box particularly. <sighs> my legs are already hurting sitting down on the floor like this. I will persevere. It's gonna look so good when it's done. It's gonna be so nice and peaceful in this little spot of the bedroom. I need tissue. It's so dusty. Gets me every time. All right, this is more comfortable. Okay, more reselling stuff. And I'm not going to talk through this entire thing. I think I'll probably finish going through this one bin and then we'll just speed through the rest of it together because I myself sure like a, a good old time lapse. It's one of my favorite things to watch is like time lapse videos of things getting done because you get through all of the work really fast and get to the point of it like being transformed. You get to the end really quick and it's very motivating to see, look, if you just fast forward through all of the work, you can actually get to something really cool. Ooh, I forgot I have this jump rope. Ooh, I gotta put that in my workout stuff. I'm actually excited about that. My ankles won't be excited about it. Oh, this is my box of pens. Kids Magic 8 Ball. I think, uh, do I want that to live up here? I'm not sure. I was going to bring my um, adult coloring books up here and put them in my nightstand so that when I feel like I want to just rest and color like a grown up, I can just do it up here. Like originally I use these for my planners, like to color code things in my planner, but I have switched to a digital planner. So I don't really need it for anything but coloring. I'm a grown up. I'm gonna keep them up here for now. That may change once I redo this room. Ah, my beets. Where are my beets? I think they're on the dresser. Those stay here. This is laundry. A laundry pile. Laundry pile. A rag. More laundry. Weird. This one, I think, is still good. This one's still good. I really need that, too. I'm glad I found that. A hat. That certainly goes downstairs. What is this? Oh, this is Blake's. Blake pile. Blake pile. Trash. I'm assuming that light bulb is bad. Or trash. This is a grandma thing. I know, I know. This is trash. This actually broke. All right, so this box really didn't end up being really what I thought it was. All right, what are these clothes? I must have put them in here for a reason. Trash, some prescription. Amatrax, oh no, that does bad things to me. Here's a question. What do you do with old pills? 
Do we just throw them away? If I have done that in the past, I've peeled off my prescription label and then just tossed them, but isn't there like pill recycling or something we're supposed to do? And if that's true, am I ever gonna do it? Because I, I know that I have a bag of like old medicines somewhere, but I've never taken the time to look into recycling them. Laundry ball, business sticker, some trash. I don't want to keep this uh, chip clip. So I think all of these I had earmarked for resale. These are t-shirts that I believe I wanted to resell. I believe that is what this is. So this goes downstairs to office. Honestly, one bin down. All this goes down into the office. I could take a load now just to free up some space. I feel great. It's going very well so far. So let's take that down, because it's full already anyway. Maybe I'll find another bin for office stuff. And then we'll fast forward through to the beautiful ending. Okay, I'm gonna explain where we're at at the moment. These things need to go downstairs. They don't belong up here. However, that box I haven't even gone through yet. And all that stuff that I sorted goes in all sorts of different areas of the house. This box is filled with papers. Some of it might be resale. Some of it might be reselling business stuff. I just took the kids memory things that I had set aside and I put them on top. I've got a huge pile downstairs in the lounge, the area of the house we call the lounge, of kids, papers, uh, papers we probably need to shred, just papers. <laughs> millions and millions of papers. So I'm gonna take that box and add it to there. I am going to go through and distribute all of these items where they belong. This goes into my office. Also a mishmash of random stuff that just doesn't belong up here. I'm not going to distribute that yet because I'm not doing the office at the moment and I will get sucked into the Bermuda Triangle if I even start in there because it's there's just so much to do. I'll just get, I'll get lost. That whole office needs to be like emptied out and redone. This is trash and one little bag of things to shred. So all this going downstairs. vacuuming that I realized that the vacuum was extremely full so I emptied the canister and now if you can tell I'm having a full-blown allergy attack the dust like kicked up on me <clears throat> and I usually have Blake do that because I'm majorly allergic to dust go figure <laughs> and uh yeah so I've just sneezed about 400 times and um <clears throat> My throat's closing up and my nose is running. <clears throat> so I'm going to get out of this room until the dust settles a little bit. And then uh, I will reconvene. I actually really want to wash this mirror now because before when there was stuff piled in front of it, you couldn't really, I mean, you could tell it was dirty, but it wasn't as noticeable. Now with the area all clean in front of it, I feel like it's just 
super noticeable now how dirty the mirror is. Here's my tripod. And you can see how messy the rest of the room is. Let's sort of, um, while I retreat from here, let's go over the aftermath, okay? Because clearly this area is clear now. True. It's all clear. But I don't want to pretend like the problem is just solved. Because I think sometimes in these like before and after pictures, and I know I've done it myself, you take everything and you shove it somewhere else and you show, look at how clean and beautiful it is now. Well, let's walk through and show where I have put all this stuff and what I still have left to do. Um, so some stuff tossed on the bed. These two things go in my nightstand, which doesn't have any room in it. So good question mark. Those are just going to be floating around. This is Blake's laundry bag, which honestly lives right there on the floor. <laughs> and this is Blake's box of stuff to go through. This I want to hang up on the wall. It needs batteries or a battery, a one double A battery. And then we can get some nails and stuff to hang it. But you know, if you watched my walkthrough video, I have so much stuff to hang up. It's kind of ridiculous. Maybe I'll put this here just to sort of keep it out of the way. Obviously this needs a lot of work, but so we're just talking about what got distributed from this pile. That stuff. That's just my uh, laundry and etc. over there. I did not get to all of this. I didn't think I would. Oh man, my throat's really closing up. I need to get out of here. Here's Max. Hi, baby. You may have noticed in the vacuuming video, he stayed right there and he's not afraid of the vacuum. Have you ever known a cat who doesn't just absolutely wig out and run out of the room when there's a vacuum around. He's the chillest cat in the world. He's not afraid of anything. All right. This has been here for a little while. That's our next round of giveaways from cleaning out the boys' clothes. And there's a towel in there. Uh, this still needs to go downstairs. I haven't done that yet. Here's trash that I emptied from the bathroom when I was emptying the... Uh, vacuum I had to take that trash bag out of the trash can and put a new trash bag in because it was full so let's take these things downstairs with us okay here's the trash that's the one that was just upstairs here's the one ah, I'm falling over here's the pile from the stuff that I just cleaned out that needs to go to the trash I have it by the front door hopefully I'll get to it today and if not hopefully Blake will do it for me when he gets home but I think I'll remember to do it being right by the front door like that. Here is the stack of stuff I just brought downstairs. This is the stack of stuff that belongs in this hell hole. That box right there too with the orange bag on it. All that came from my bedroom. So I know I didn't really necessarily solve a problem. I've created a new problem right here. But my bedroom area now is fixed. I have compartmentalized it, I guess. So now it's over here being a problem in the office area. But at least all of this stuff goes in here or has to go away. Organizing my office is going to be a beast. It's going to be many days, if not weeks, of hard, hard work. And I'm not there yet. That's not what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on all these little piles all over my house that don't belong. So none of this stuff belonged. It belongs in here somewhere or out of the house completely. The main goal of all of this, first and foremost, is to get the living space free of all my reselling business stuff. So I've done that. My bedroom is now free, other than the dresser, is free of business stuff. And there's a good amount of trash going out, which is good. I found a bunch of laundry. I, I've accomplished a lot. I really feel like I have accomplished a lot, even though I didn't actually get rid of a lot yet. And I didn't put everything away yet. That space now is clear in my bedroom and my bedroom is a more peaceful place. And it's going to get done because I have committed to myself to continue through the entire house. So eventually I'm going to get to the office. So let's get the rest of this stuff put away. Here's the cleaning little um, doodad. 
So this goes in the garage. And this is what I do when something needs to go in the garage. I go like that. That casserole needs to go in the garage. Helmet needs to go in the garage. This trash can needs to go in the garage. This is the garage waiting zone. The step stool goes in the garage. This big box of cat litter goes in the garage. These do not go in the garage, actually. These are prime for the kids. Oh, hey, look. I knew I had this here somewhere. It's another part to that. Okay, so look, at least I found all the parts to it. It's all together in one spot now, and it can go in the garage for next time when we need to use it. Turning around. <laughs> I need to zoom out so you can even see all this. Here's some trash. Go-Gurt and pizza box. Trash. I guess I could put that by the front door. Or I'll put it right there for now. Oh, this goes in the garage. Did he put all that away? He did. So that goes in the garage. The rest of this, especially this sort of tower right here, this goes in the garage. This tower of these turquoise boxes and these boxes and things. This tower right here is kid stuff. Projects, homework, paperwork, things they've brought home from school. Hey, there's those checks that I was looking for. Oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> so that's what that is. Here's the two boxes I brought down from the bedroom. And then that pile right here is Christmas wrapping paper that needs to go back into the Christmas wrapping paper bin that we already put away that we didn't realize there's that much stuff to put into it still. So we got to get the bin back down out of the garage. This, those, that, that, that is all reselling stuff that doesn't belong in here. Belongs in the office or in the storage unit, really. There's one thing of records that belongs to Blake. This looks like more trash up here and then one more bin of like kid stuff and memories that I need to go through. So that's why I've just sort of brought these boxes down here to this because at least that bottom one is part of this. This top one, I'm just going to literally pick it up and carry it around and put all of this stuff where it belongs if it has a place. If it doesn't have a place, I'm honestly probably going to bring it back in here and sit it right on top of that box and go through it when I go through all the rest of this stuff. This is where I'm coming next. I know that I ramble a lot, but I, I hope it's just motivating to see me like talking through all this with you because I'm sure we all have these similar sort of thoughts. We have to like psych ourselves up for certain things and some of it's really, really easy. And again, I'm trying to start with the easy stuff, but going through the kids stuff, I know that's going to be more of a challenge for me, but I'm not going to do it right this second, to be honest with you. There's going to be a break here and then we will reconvene. But hey, at least the bedroom's looking better, right? Oh yeah, and here's all the laundry I found in that pile. I just literally threw it down off, off the balcony. See? There's the balcony. I just throw the laundry straight down. I do this all the time. And I just sort of scoop it up and walk it into the laundry room. Sometimes this pile gets very big. <laughs> but yeah. Amazing how I was totally looking for that pair of pajamas too for Brody. Now it is a new day and I am ready to tackle the lounge. As you can see, some things have changed. So we got the red canvas thing down from the garage to put away the Christmas wrapping paper. And also Blake changed up this room a little bit. So the cabinet that was off to the side that was housing all of his reel to reel tapes has changed. That will be shown in a later video. For now, we're going to just stick with working on all of the piles of papers all over this room. And I will explain in more detail in another video, the horrible chain reaction of events that happened because Blake got that new bookshelf. But for now, we're just going to start on the piles of papers. This took many days and was very much a tedious and frustrating process. 
literally going through every single piece of paper. Highly recommend staying on top of paper piles and not getting behind like I did because it takes forever. Oh, and also in the middle of all this, a cat threw up behind the chair. So I had to deal with that too. So, you know, lots of breaks, lots of interruptions, little bits at a time. Of course, there was my vintage reselling business items in here that needed to be dealt with. I didn't go through every single piece of paper if it was part of my reselling business, but I did go through every single piece of paper that was junk mail, trash, children's projects, things from the office, like office supplies, things from Blake's work, mementos, sentimental items like keepsakes and old greeting cards and bank statements. There was tons of stuff to shred. Blake was on shredding duty for like two days. We had a whole box in the garage of stuff to shred that he was working on. It was just every piece of paper that we didn't deal with for years just shoved into boxes shoved into piles the keepsakes were a really big deal too because i still don't have a good system for filing away my own keepsakes i've worked on figuring out how to organize the kids keepsakes but my own is still cluttered so i just went through it got rid of some of the trash and the things that i'm like why did i keep this i don't even know what it's about but the stuff that i did find important i kind of just put it all in a box and I'm gonna have to figure out a way to organize it. And ultimately I intended to make scrapbooks of all this stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. So I am going to have to revisit a lot of this stuff, but for now it was about separating things, organizing things into like items, getting rid of the trash, and then getting all of this stuff out of this room because it doesn't belong in there. And we wanted to make this space a nice place for Blake to be able to relax at the end of the day, listen to his vintage audio equipment, listen to his records, listen to his reel to reel tapes and be able to entertain guests because sometimes he does have friends over for a glass of scotch and to listen to some jazz records. And it was just too cluttered and horrible in here to be able to do any of that. So that's what we're working on. And it was quite an undertaking. sorting through all of the kids schoolwork that they have been bringing home for the last oh gosh I don't know four years <laughs> starting from when Bo was in preschool so he's in second grade now so you do the math on that it's might be five years actually so I am throwing away a lot of it I do not need to keep every single thing they've ever done especially when it comes to like math tests and papers that have no sentimental value at all I'm keeping the cutest stuff and really all I'm doing right now is just separating it into a bow pile and a Brody pile and then later on I'm going to go through and divide it by grade. So I do have some little bins and a way to organize their school keepsakes. <laughs> So this was the end of the first day of this project. And as you can see, we've made some good progress. There are still some boxes to go through. I now have the stacks of the kids' artwork to organize in the little gray bins, but we can see a lot more of the floor. I was able to run the Roomba and vacuum, which always satisfies me deeply. And it was tiring and exhausting, but we've made good progress. Now it is another day and I am going through these little gray bins. So these gray bins are what I have decided to use to separate the kids' artwork into year. So I have one bin for Brody's preschool, another for Bo's preschool, first grade, second grade, etc. So that's how I'm sorting through these things 
I had already gone through, I think, Brody's preschool stuff. So I'm giving it a once more look through because that bin was pretty stuffed full and I had more to add to it now at this point. So I was being a little bit more ruthless with what I was getting rid of and resorting this box. Now the shelf next to me that has Blake's reel to reel tapes in it. Originally what was right there was a Calyx shelf from Ikea. If you're familiar with that, it's the same as what the cube kind of shape shelves are that hold his records. These little boxes I got to store the kids artwork, each cube holds three of these school bins. I have moved that Calyx cube into the office. So that is the sort of chain reaction project I was talking about where I moved that Calyx cube and Blake got a new shelf for all of his reel to reel tapes. That will be seen in another video. But now that's where I am going to be storing all of the kids artwork mementos. Now we are on day three of this project actually. This is the project that will never end. So I'm doing a walkthrough to show where we stand now on day three. This box here is still left with some random bits and things in it. I still have three boxes it looks like to go through. Back here behind the chair, there's some more stuff that I need to address. Some of it is Blake's stuff that I just left for him, but there is some reselling stuff back there and a couple more miscellaneous things. So here we go again. I did find some fun stuff in here. You may have seen an Amazon card flash on the screen really quick. At the end of this project, I have found an Amazon card, a home goods gift card, a brand new Starbucks reusable tumbler with a Starbucks gift card, and a bunch of credit and debit cards that I never activated. So obviously I don't use them and, but there was a debit card in there that I had the bank send me a, a new one and, and cancel that one because I thought I never got it. Well, no, it was just hiding in all of this rubble. So it's one of those things where we get mail, we get cards that need to be activated, get a gift card, whatever, and it just ends up on a pile and lost forever. So I'm really glad that I went through all of this. I found some really good stuff that um, I had been missing, really. Right around this point on this day, I was starting to lose some steam and it was because unbeknownst to me, I was getting sick. So I decided to just sort of call it for the day, even though I hadn't accomplished everything I had wanted to. I really wanted to finish off the whole room this day, but I was starting to just feel really drained. So I took everything off the floor and ran the Roomba again, because like I said, it's the thing that brings me joy, having a vacuumed floor. And I decided to just move on to another day, which is what we're seeing here. This was like five or six days later because I was down for the count. So the room got messy again, just with laundry and some random other things, you know, it, it becomes a dumping ground. If there's one box on the ground, other stuff is inevitably going to, like a magnet, be attracted to that area. So I was finally starting to feel mostly better. I was maybe about 75% better at this point. And I'm like, okay, I am finishing this dang room. I can't live like this anymore. It's time to just get it done. So I moved all of the things into the rooms that they needed to go to. Some of this stuff was donate. So that red bin that you saw me carry out, that was filled with stuff to donate. There was a lot of stuff that still needed to go into the office. So yeah, the office is still a big problem. And little by little, I am going through the office, just not showing it on camera. Here is the after of this beautiful little area. We see some floor. So I'm just picking up sort of the random other little things around the room making some piles for Blake of his stuff that he needs to go through. He had some cords and some record things and stickers and stuff that were for him. So I just piled them on this ottoman for him and told him, 
good luck with that. This is your spot. Then I had the boys bedding to fold up, which is pretty self-explanatory. And we are really close now to the end of finally accomplishing getting rid of all of the paper piles and clutter piles that have been driving me crazy around this whole house. Okay, we did it. The rooms are not perfect, of course. I haven't gone through all the cabinets and all the rest of the clutter, but the clutter piles are gone. I am so satisfied with how these before and afters turned out. So let's look at them one more time and please subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode because I'm getting rid of half the stuff in my closet. So it's gonna be a good one. It's a really good transformation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>